it going, all you guys and girls in the Illumination? Time to jump aboard the Loom Train. It's me, it's me, it's JJD, JJ Double J, the Illuminator here. Also known by almost countless other aliases and nicknames. But we won't get into that right now. Jacket is a little bit twisted because of the way I'm sitting down. But I think we can get through this for a couple of minutes. Today I wanted to talk about just because something seems like it should be better doesn't necessarily mean it is. And in this instance, I'm going to talk about... Uh, Automobile oil, car oil, oil for the car, for the engine, engine oil. Uh, boy, I definitely did not take the, uh, the shortcut with that description, did I? Um, when I was a kid, uh, I probably was around, I don't know, 10 years old or so, uh, right around that area. My dad and somebody that he worked with, um, actually it was the guy that he worked with, he started a little side business of rebuilding car engines and uh, truck engines, stuff like that. And my dad was, was pretty decent at doing that. He knew a lot about engines and stuff. I think anybody that grew up in the 60s compared to today, I think the, 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 the national average was that you knew how to fix your own cars and everything. Engines are totally different today. And uh, I'm not saying people don't know how to do it today. I, I think more people knew how to do it back then uh, compared to today's world. But I digress. That's a, a discussion for another day and another cup of coffee. But... um. My father uh, got a part-time job uh, helping him out on weekends. My dad at one point was working three jobs, and I don't know how he had the strength to do that. I think it's just, it's not in me. I worked two jobs before, and I, I did it for uh, for a few months, and uh, it, 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 it took its toll on me. But I'm from a different generation, so that's about all I'll say about that. <laughs> but anyway, my dad was, uh, was helping him out, and um, it was funny because when they would rebuild an engine, it seemed like... The dirtier engines, um, it's a lot of times because of the oil, uh, his friend, his name was Gary, Gary would ask the owners, what kind of uh, engine oil do you use? And in every single case, and it's funny too, because in every single case with the dirtiest engines, they said they used Quaker State oil. Uh, now, Quaker State, it's a name brand oil, it's a, it's a name people trust, but for some reason, every single really filthy engine was Quaker State oil. So, I mean, I'm not saying the other oils are, are not uh, good or, or better or worse or anything, but it seemed like for some reason Quaker State was uh, was a no-go. It was something to stay away from. I don't know if it's different today, but just passing along a little advice, I know there's a lot of different varieties of uh, oil out there, and I know the engines of today are different than the engines in the 70s and 80s, the cars that he was working on, basically. So um, so take that with a grain of salt uh, if you're using Quaker State oil. Um, if it was me, uh, I've because my dad never, for ever since then, never used Quaker State. And, um, and I've never used it either. I've never, major, I've never had any major problems. So take that however you want. So just passing along a little friendly advice just because it seems like it's a name brand doesn't necessarily mean it's the best. I love you all. Take care. Have a great rest of the day. Be good to each other. Live strong. Be the miracle. This is the Illuminator, and I'll be back. Please, sir, I want some more. Oh.